Hello everyone, Shantae here. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So I'm here to share with you guys um, the contents of an online class that I purchased that my sister Scrapper um, was teaching, well, is teaching in a online um, group. So I'm going to show you what I received and then I'm going to come back and show you the book that I made off a tutorial. I ordered my kit late. So she's actually already did the class. She did the class uh uh I think it was Thursday or Friday. My kit came Saturday, but I'm just not taping this part uh Sunday. So hopefully I can do it start to finish today and then upload this uh video. All right. So the only thing that came pre-cut What's the chipboard for the base? You know, Ginger is known for her folios. And I love the way she um, teaches and explains stuff. So, I had no problem with buying it because I knew I would be able to understand her instructions. She's amazing with that. So, we got some... Um, I got some... Uh, this is some nice feeling uh, craft paper. One... Because I never... Like I said, I hadn't even counted these. Let's see two four six seven like we got seven twelve by twelves one two three four five six yeah seven twelve by twelves of that night that's some nice craft feels really good and then this is the collection i took it all out the package um this is the jelly bean suit um spoonful of soul and i don't know if they're sold out of everything but um i'll leave the facebook group and everything you can um inbox the owner she was really nice um when i uh even when i messaged her on facebook and everything she responded right away so yeah i have no uh issues with that all right so here's the kit all right so and y'all know jelly b soup soup just was uh sold to somewhere uh another company that's the sticker sheet this is like some more i'm assuming these are stickers or punch out they i think they're stickers uh i don't do a whole lot of stickers but this would be a great way to try to start these are punch outs right here let me zoom a little bit more. These are the punch outs. I try not to show all my junk <laughs> around my desk. All right, so we got these two sheets, and this is so thick. But y'all know I sh I showed the um jelly bean soup box that I bought. They have some nice thick papers. I don't know about how it's gonna be now since they sold it, but these are nice and this collection was from 2019 these two sheets and you know you're gonna have some paper left over and um, ginger made some cards I love this sheet right here love the umbrellas okay right here you know this is my favorite color and I absolutely oops I absolutely love these um, bikes. So I'm really, I really do like this collection. And this is the last sheet. These are just like, uh, you can just like cut them apart. And that's the back. All right, you guys, like I said, I'll be back and show you the album that I make following her tutorial okay everybody i am back so what i have left is that hasn't been cut in it's uh three of the 12 by 12s so that's good i got a bunch of scraps a bunch of scraps left this is uh all you know scraps you can still use these are the stickers <clears throat> And then this is the punch out. So as you can see, I used a lot of punch outs, which I don't normally do. So that's a good, good thing. So that's what I have left. And let me show you the book. 
And um, I don't know that I mentioned this before. The class was actually free. You didn't have to buy a kit if you didn't want to, but I did because I wanted to follow along. Ooh, let me zoom out some. Okay, y'all will just see more junk. Okay, so here is the front of the album. And I did use my uh, Spec New York glitter pen and Nouveau. I put the glitter pen down first in the Nouveau glaze on top to give uh, all these spots shine. And I popped up two elements on the page. Now, when I was, um, oh, I did also have one 12 by 12 sheet of the brown lip because I didn't do one thing and I'll show you that. But um, I did not score. I didn't train my folds enough, so they did crack. So I just put some ribbon on it to um, hide it. The uh, things, this is for me, so I was okay with that. So, like I said, this is the front cover. And then when you open it up, and I use basic gray magnets. I got a bunch of these. I had ordered a bunch. And then when they was uh, going out of business, I got a bunch from uh, Tuesday morning years ago for 99 cents. I just got as many as I could find. All right, so here's the left side right here. Got this band right here. Uh, like I said, Ginger, I already did a video on it. That's the front with stickers um, and the punch-out parts, cutter parts. That's the inside. You can stick some in right here. And this is held in place by this little um, feature right here. Okay, and then on this side, it just has a spot for a big old picture. See the, the punch-outs right there? And then this fold out piece as well where you can put um something in some photos in and it just tucks in right there which is great all right and then when you open it up this is the centerpiece and on the centerpiece you have this um magnet piece that holds the waterfall now there's no um paper on the back of the waterfall now that would be a good way for me to use up a lot of the scraps which i may go back and do just to use up more of the paper okay and what i was gonna say what i did didn't do that she did at the back of here i did glue it uh leave it open though you can stick something back there i think she put three pull tabs back there that i haven't did yet and then on this side you have this flap that's been decorated with those four you know five pieces this right here and it opens up right there got another piece right there and then this got the pieces and then it flips out so you can have two photos right there and then over here she has another fold out right here and i just follow how she decorated it and everything and so it goes down like that because magnus is back here and magnus is back there and then um it goes down like that and that's it like i said it's very uh cute that's the back very simple album it didn't take long to do but i am um you know slow i think y'all heard me say that several times especially with books i am slow so but that is the album i really like the way that it turned out and so i could take this and just make it in different papers and make what i would like anything else now from the same store i bought a guy card kit and it came with everything you needed to do to make the cards. These were what were left. The jelly bean soup. Um, I forgot the name of the collection. But this is it. All boys. Which is super nice. So hard to find. So I just only have a few of those left. But let me show you the cards that I made. And like I said. They came already together. All I did was put it, put it together. 
So that's one. And you know, I know I'm the mat, but I haven't matted these yet. This is the second one. This is so super cute. And I think all you used was just the cut aparts and like a cut apart sheet. The die cut sheet and the color cut aparts. Here's one. I pop that up. Pop some of it up. Right here. So simple and easy to do. They turned out so cute. So I may go back and um do some um, you know, the nouveau the glossy accent on top. So that's it, you guys. This uh came from the same store. I think it's Creative Chaos. So yeah, so um I'll leave. Well, if you have any questions, just let me know. But that's it, you guys. I will be back with another video. I just wanted to share with you guys the album. The next time I make this, I'll make sure that I uh, train the paper better. Because like I said, um, I didn't train it well. And so it cracks like they do if you don't. So I'm very pleased with it. Because like I said, this is just going to be mine. And that's it, you guys. I will be back with another video. Bye.